What's up, everybody? All right, guys, let's talk about this build starting off. What we have and what we plan on doing with it. So, purchased, uh, and, and the cost, of course, uh, purchased a 125-gallon tank with the stand for 150 bucks. This is a used tank. Uh, I've already started working on it, but uh, you know, this is what we have. We're looking at costs. We're looking at all that stuff. So, um, as far as putting this thing back together, I mean, retail these things run anywhere from 650 to you know 800 bucks. So 150 dollars plus a few materials. I'm gonna get this tank put together at a fraction of the cost. Um, this tank had. This glass sitting up here is some kind of support or something. I think this was a turtle tank at one point. So we do have silicone that's up here. I've already taken that off. And uh, I do have to reseal this tank. So I've already kind of started on that. And that's what all the silicone is down there. Um, along with what I've taken off of the side here. This here. So um, For right now, we're just going to get started with getting this tank cleaned up and getting all the silicone off the edges because we do have to reseal it. So um, as far as initial cost, um, I'm down 150 bucks for the tank and the stand. Plus, you know, we're looking at materials that I purchased. Um, I got some GE window and door, uh, extra flex. Make sure that when you buy it, it does say 100% silicone. That's the uh, important part. And you do want clear or black, depending on what your tastes are, as far as the silicone goes. Um, but this brand right here, I've had really good luck with. So let's talk about what else we've purchased. Uh, we have three tubes of the silicone for the 125. Uh, we do have the Plasti Dip. We're gonna use the Plasti Dip on the uh, background of the tank. And I probably will wind up doing that, well, That'll actually be this side because that'll be the back of the tank and this will be the front. So wind up doing this side because it's going to face my fireplace and I really don't have any view there. So just because of where I'm sitting, I want to be able to see the tank from this side. So this window will be clear and obviously the front will be clear. And then the back and that panel back there will be painted with a plastic dip. Cool thing about this stuff is once you paint it on, it's really simple just to peel it right back off. There's nothing, you know, there's not a lot to it. Let's see what else is in the magic bag. You guys are going to need a flat razor. This is for scraping off all the silicone. Um, I'll get into that here in just a few minutes as far as how to, uh, how to actually get the silicone off. And, you know, we'll, we'll get that part done here in just a minute. So, we also have a paint scraper. Um... Yes, you do typically use this on for painting, but this has a nice sharp edge right here. And I've got some really thick silicone. I don't know what they, what they did in the center of this tank, but you can see the line there. And I'm not just going to be able to use the scraper to get that off, so I'm really going to have to get down in there and, and get it out. So that's where this is going to come in. This is a very rigid, it doesn't bend. You can see my fingers turning white, trying to bend it. So it's not going to bend on me. It's got a nice sharp edge on it so we're going to use that in the center there because that that silicone's roof probably over a quarter of an inch thick and at least an inch wide so it's going to take us a minute so we're going to use this guy for it and then we just have the rest of the supplies like i said we bought three tubes of silicone you always want to buy more than you think you need because you don't want to have to go to the store and if i need to return it i will but I'll end up using it for a different project. I got two cans of the Plasti Dip uh, paint to paint the back of this tank and the side that we're talked about over there. So, as for right now, that's where we're at, and we'll continue the video here in a minute. I'm going to show you how to uh, actually start prepping your tank to get all the silicone off of the edges so we can reseal it. All right, guys. So we're back at it here. Okay. Um, the main thing that you want to watch when you're doing the edges of your tank as far as the reseal on it, you can see that I have my my outline glass is right here. 
and then my seam where this piece of glass and the one on the inside is right here. So this seam right here, when I'm on the inside of the tank, when I'm actually doing this on the inside of the tank, I'll actually show you on this side. You want to make sure that you take your razor blade and that we're not cutting into that seam. That's extremely important. And the reason you don't want to cut into that seam is because your um, that seam that you've got inside there is what's holding your glass together. So we don't want to cut it. We just want to make sure that we're on the inside of it. So, um, you know, that's one of the main things is don't cut the the seam that holds the glass together, just cut the, the silicone on the inside of the tank. And that's what we're going to do to reseal this because the silicone that's holding the tank together is fine. I don't need to redo that. I just need to fix the silicone that uh, is actually going to seal the tank. Now, this is a heavy tank, so you can see in the front right here, this is marked where it's leaking. This tank does leak, so um, that's obviously, you know, the reason that I'm resealing the entire tank and not just this part. Number one, the new silicone is not going to seal to the old silicone. They're just not going to mesh together. So um, I am going to reseal, reseal the entire tank, not just this part. Obviously, if this part's leaking, then the silicone throughout the entire tank is not good. So you don't just do one of it, one part, you do the entire thing. And it's, you know, it's a lot of tank. It's a lot of work. Getting the silicone off is the hard part. Putting it on is the easy part. So for right now, that's where we're at. And uh, I'll get back to you when we uh, get all the silicone off of here. The rest of it anyway. And uh, we're ready to start sealing this tank up. Okay, so we've taken out all the excess silicone that was in here. Somebody had like sealed this thing a few times. So you can see that I'm not down in the cracks there. I've only taken the, the part that actually seals the tank. So we're gonna have a nice bead that goes through the seam that holds the glass together. That's still gonna remain intact. And then we just took out all the excess, so. Um, considering the amount of silicone that was in this thing, as far as, um, you know, the excess, because somebody tried to reseal this tank on top of the silicone that was already in there. And in some places, this was like three quarters of an inch thick. So it did take me about four hours to do this. Typically, this would only take you maybe an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half. But, I mean, I was cutting through layers and layers and layers of it, so... Anyway, as for right now, we got it all cleaned up. She's ready to get new silicone put down. So when you're putting your new silicone in, it's real simple. You're gonna use this right here. It's about 5 eighths of an inch glass. Um, so we're gonna use this edge is how thick we're actually gonna put the silicone back in the ends here. I know this doesn't look real clean, but there's actually silicone on the outside of this. So this tank has already been resealed once. Um, but anyway, so when you're doing your bead on your silicone, you know, you can gauge it. It's about five eighths of an inch, so maybe my pinky nail is about how thick we're going to put this in. And uh, we're just going to do all the seams all the way around the bottom. We're going to do the bottom first and then do all the sides. And you want to get this done within about five to ten minutes. It shouldn't take you that long. It's really easy to do. Um, so just put your bead down, run your finger along the edge, spread it out a little bit, and uh, you should be good to go. So we're going to get this done, and then we'll be able to water test it in about, eh, I usually wait about two days before I water test it, so it'll be about 48 hours. Let this thing fully cure. So that's where we're at right now, guys. Okay, so we got our bead of silicone down. You can see right now it's all white. And the reason it's all white is, well, I mean, it's not really white. This is clear silicone. It will dry clear. Um, got everything sealed up all the way around. Okay, when you're putting your bead in and you don't know if you've got your bead in thick enough or you don't trust it, it's real simple. Just take and uh, 
add a little bit more to it and just put it right on top but make sure you do it while it's still wet um, you know within that five to ten minute window and the reason that you want to do it while it's still wet is so that it bonds to the silicone that you've already put down and then just take your finger go right back over it again uh, I have seen people use tape uh, in the corners you know they, they run a line of tape on either side of this and then while it's wet they just peel the tape off to get these lines nice and straight I've been doing this a long time so uh, it's easy for me I can just run my finger and I can make a nice nice good looking line on it so that's where we're at everybody got her sealed up now we'll let her sit for a couple days and uh, we will water test it see how we're doing so uh, another thing I'm gonna do on this tank is got somebody tried to drill this and I don't know what they used to do it but this right here is is glass and they cut the they broke the glass off in here so I'm probably going to take all this silicone out of here and then uh, put some probably put another piece of glass in here I haven't decided what I'm doing with the filtration yet so uh, that's most likely what I'm going to do so anyway guys uh, we get the tank sealed up next time uh, well I guess it'll be two days for me and instantly for you uh, we'll water test it I'm pretty confident that you know we're gonna have a nice solid tank no leaks so that's where we're at all right so we water tested it let it sit out here for a day we're draining it now and she's ready to go this tank will get set up all right so early in the video I talked about the size of the glass in the tank um, the glass is not 5 eighths, it's 3 eighths. Um, so when I ran my bead of silicone, my bead of silicone was 3 eighths of an inch thick. And it's the same thickness as the glass. Um, that's what we used uh, when we sealed it. So just a heads up, just something to let you know uh, the thickness of the silicone. It wasn't 5 eighths, it was 3 eighths. Uh, you will have half inch glass in some of the older tanks. Um, but anyway tank held up that's the important part don't forget to subscribe it's the button right down there that button just click it uh, you can follow us uh, uh, appreciate your time guys and that's how we sealed the big tank worked out uh, we're going to continue this series uh, as far as filtration setup uh, the type of fish we're putting in here i am going to dirt this tank so we got a lot of work to do, and I'm excited to share it with all of you. Talk to you later.